Hello, this is Justin from The Tech Train here. And in today's video, what I'm going to show you is how you can add a clock that shows the current time in Microsoft PowerPoint. You'll see here, if I play this presentation, I have a clock in the top right corner, which is actually showing you the exact time right now. It even has a second hand and it's live updated throughout this uh, slide. So even though I'm not going through from one slide to another, the time still shows. If I go through to my next slide, you'll see that the clock is still there. And so on each of my slides, I can still show the live time, which is really good if, like me, you're a teacher and you want to be able to have the live time displayed somewhere. You don't have a clock on the wall, maybe. And you want to either make sure that you are aware of what the time is or indeed your students. And in fact, there's no limit to how large you can have uh, this clock. You'll see here I have a blank slide in this presentation with a live clock built into it. This is still within Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's see how we can do this in PowerPoint. So the first thing we're going to do is go onto the internet and on your favorite search engine, search for flash clock for PowerPoint or flash clock for PPT. And you'll see that there's a whole load of websites offering flash clocks. So this is um, clocks made in Adobe Flash. There are lots of them. This is a very popular one, matclock.com. Uh, that has a whole load of flash-based clocks, which you can download. There's a download uh, button here, uh, which you can use that downloads a zipped file that contains the flash clock plus uh, various other instructions. Uh, here's another one here, flash-clocks.com. And here they have flash clocks that are analog. They have digital ones. Uh, they even got antique ones. You can see there's a whole variety uh, of different styles of clocks, uh, some of which are going to be a little clearer in a PowerPoint slide than others. Uh, here's um, some of the flash ones, uh, for example. So I've clicked on analog flash clocks here. That's brought up this page. Um, that was the clock that I used just now. I'll use a different one just so we can see the process. So I'm going to grab this clock just here. Now, whether you um, download from somewhere like matsclock.com, whether you download a zipped file uh, and you end up with a clock, uh, that's fine. If you do, you can just simply drag that file onto, say, your desktop. Um, alternatively, if you go onto a website like flashclocks.com, you'll find that each of these clocks has an HTML embed tag. So what you can do is click on that, which brings up this web page, and the code that they've given you is an embed code. Uh, there's no credit necessarily involved in this code. So therefore it's perfectly okay to simply grab the uh, text that goes from uh, the HTTP. So you've got the embed SRC, embed source equals, and then you've got the website address. So HTTP colon slash slash flashclocks.com, blah, 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 all the way down to the dot SWF include the .swf as well, copy that, and then simply paste that address in your address bar and press enter. That will save the file. You'll see here Chrome has uh, warned me uh, that this type of file could harm your computer. Well, these are flash clocks from a well-known website, so that's fine. I can click, uh, simply click uh, keep there. So I've now downloaded this file uh, and I've downloaded this, in fact, to my desktop. There we are. There's the free, <laughs> the free, the free flash clock. Uh, it's not easy to say. So if you downloaded the flash clock from, say, matsclocks.com and you've then extracted that zip file and you've dragged the file onto the desktop or you've simply downloaded it straight from a website like I have here, as long as you have this flash file on your desktop or in a folder somewhere uh, on your computer. That's all you need. What I'm going to do now is open up my presentation and just reduce the size of it so that I can see the file over here and my slide on the right over here. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is choose the slide where I'm going to insert this clock. Uh, this time I'm going to insert the clock in this orange square on the right hand side here. 
and literally all you're going to do is click and drag it across and dump it onto your slide. Simple as that. Um, older versions of PowerPoint did have a, an insert flash button um, somewhere on this, I think in the insert uh, tab there was a insert flash that's no longer there in the more recent uh, versions of PowerPoint this I think is 2016 I'm using now um, there are other ways of doing it but to be honest click and drag is, is just as easy uh, what I'm going to do now is to resize it or oh, you'll notice of course that I don't see the clock uh, that's absolutely fine if you play the presentation then your clock will be visible. It might just take a second to load. There we are. So your clock will be visible, uh, but it won't be visible when you're in preview mode. So don't worry if it just looks like a blank black square, uh, it will. I'm gonna then move that up and resize it uh, so that it's uh, in about the position I want it to be in. Uh, it's not gonna quite fit in that. So what I'm gonna do is actually make it a bit smaller and just stick it right up there in the top right corner. So I'm gonna pop that just about there. Now, what I tend to do is once I've got the clock fitted into wherever it is I want it to be, in fact, why don't we do this on the left-hand side on this one? Grab it on the left-hand side. Once I've repositioned it and I've resized it, all you can do then is Control C to copy. So hold down Control and press C to copy it. And then click on each slide in your presentation and press Control V. What well, that'll make sure is that it appears in the same size and the same position on each of those slides. There we are. What I'm going to do on this slide, however, just slightly different, I'm going to make this a full screen clock. So I'm simply going to drag it to the top left corner and then drag the bottom right corner and drag that out so that it fills the whole slide. So let's have a look at what this looks like. If I play my presentation, uh, there's the clock appearing at the top left corner. This one doesn't have a second hand, but it is the live time. And if I was to keep this slide open, we would see that minute hand tick round, uh, which is really useful in, in a classroom situation or wherever you are doing a presentation. And there's not a clock that you can easily see, uh, but you want to refer to the time. For example, your students are working and you say, right, looking at the clock on the screen there, it's uh, 12 minutes past. I'm going to give you until 20 past. And then you can sort of make sure that they pay attention to that. Uh, we can but hope. So there we are, as I've moved onto this slide here, then onto this slide here, you can see that clock is still there. And of course, this is the full screen clock uh, where we can see the time very, very clearly. Uh, possibly useful if you're doing tests or examinations or something like that. Uh, but that's it, that's all there is to it. So although um, some tutorials online tell you that to insert uh, the live date uh, that's updatable in a presentation, you simply go to insert uh, and then date and time, that's certainly true. Uh, and you can insert the date and you can have it automatically update. Uh, but it won't actually update once the PowerPoint presentation is running. It'll load up the date and time, show you that in the header or footer or whatever you want. But while your presentation is running, it won't change, it won't update. Uh, and that's not really what most people are looking for. So I hope this was useful to you. If it was, please do give uh, this video a thumbs up. It does make a difference. If you have any questions or any comments or suggestions, please do leave them below. I always read them and I do my best to reply to them as soon as I possibly can. And if you haven't subscribed to The Tech Train, then why on earth not? Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Again, it does make a difference and it helps me uh, produce more of these videos in future. So thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll see you in a future video. Bye-bye.